So in example three, we're going to use a sum or difference identity for tangent to find the exact value of the tangent of pi over 12. So if we change our denominators for the special angles in the unicircle to 12s, then pi over 6 would become 2 pi over 12. Pi over 4 would be 3 pi over 12. Pi over 3 would be 4 pi over 12. Pi over 2 would be 6 pi over 12, and so on. So I can continue around my circle with 8 pi over 12, 9 pi over 12, 10 pi over 12, 12 pi over 12, and so on. Now I want two values that add or subtract to be pi over 12. And adding isn't going to be a possibility because um, all of these are greater than pi over 12. So I'm going to need a difference identity. I'm going to subtract two angles to get pi over 12. And it doesn't matter which two I pick as long as they subtract equal pi over 12. So we could do, for example, 5 pi over 6 minus 3 pi over 4. We could do 3 pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3, or pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Um, any of these are going to work fine. They're all going to simplify to the same value. Um, just to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and do the first two angles in the first quadrant, which would be changing tangent of pi over 12 into the tangent of 3 pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 12. And those subtract to equal pi over 12. So reducing those denominators to my special angles, I'll have the tangent of pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So I'm going to be using the difference identity for tangent. And I want to be careful with these plus or minus versus minus plus notation. Right, if I'm taking the tangent of A minus B, that's the bottom of that plus or minus. So I need the bottom sign in both of these. So I'll have the tangent of A minus tangent of B in the numerator, 1 plus the product tangent A times tangent B in the denominator. So we'll go ahead and write that out. Tangent of angle A would be tangent of pi over 4. Then that's minus the tangent of angle B. And our angle B is pi over 6. Then that quantity is divided by 1 plus, because of, we're on the bottom there, 1 plus the tangent of angle A, which is pi over 4 times the tangent of angle B, and angle B is pi over 6. Now that we've used the identity, we can go ahead and substitute our values. So tangent at pi over 4, recall the tangents in the first quadrant are 0, then 1, undefined, square root of 3, and square root of 3. 3 over 3. So the tangent at pi over 4 is 1 minus the tangent at pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 3. And to keep my math simple here, I'm going to use the divide symbol instead of the stacked fractions. So this will be divided by 1 Plus, and then we have the tangent of pi over 4, which is 1, times the tangent at pi over 6, which was square root of 3 over 3. Okay, now we're going to simplify. And um, to combine these, I need a common denominator. So I'm going to change that 1 to a 3 over 3. And then I can subtract my numerators. So this is now 3 over 3. And that'll give me a 3 minus root 3 
all divided by three in um, my first term. Okay, then I'm dividing by, and we're going to simplify this second expression. So 1 times root 3 over 3 is just root 3 over 3. And like we did in the first term, we're going to change that 1 to a 3 over 3 so that we can combine these fractions, and we'll have 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3. Now when you divide fractions, that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So my first fraction, 3 minus root 3 over 3, gets multiplied. We're changing the divide by this fraction into multiply by its reciprocal. So it's being multiplied by 3 over the quantity 3 plus square root of 3. And we can see now on the diagonal, these threes cancel, leaving us with a 3 minus root 3 in the numerator divided by the quantity 3 plus square root of 3. Now, usually we would rationalize the denominator, but that's a lot more work than um, what we really need to do for this problem. So it's fine to leave this in the form 3 minus root 3 over the quantity 3 plus the square root of 3. But you do want to check your answer to make sure that you didn't make any calculation errors or simplifying errors. So uh, check that you're in radian mode and then we're going to compare the tangent of pi over 12. We're going to compare that decimal to our answer, which in the numerator was a 3 minus the square root of 3, and in the denominator, 3 plus the square root of 3. And we can see that those decimals are equivalent, and so we didn't make any mistakes as we were simplifying.